Network capacity, wherever you are in the country, whether it be in the United States or in a third world country, and how much capacity those last miles can hold. I always tell people network capacity is like your gym membership. They hope in your gym that not everybody comes in to use the treadmills on the same day at the same time. So what they do is they set up a business model to make money. Uh, essentially, they want to make as much money as they can with the most efficient use of resources possible. So, you know, they get the equipment to say, okay, well, here's, here's our normal business. Here's where we generally search to. And in a disaster, we know we're just going to go well past what our capacities are and things will get bottlenecked, but they'll clear up over time. Because if you try to build maximum capacity for catastrophic events everywhere, the network cannot be sustainable and nobody will want to pay for it. They're going to go with somebody who puts in lower, lower capacity networks because they can afford that. Um, cell phones during Katrina, Rita Wilma, because even if you drop Katrina, Katrina. Rita and Wilma were very sizable storms unto themselves that everybody always seems to neglect. The cell phone use after those series of storms was completely battered. The cell phone companies essentially got caught with their pants down. They've been really building their technology and strengthening it and hardening their facilities ever since then. 